Hey everybody, today I'm here to tell you about uh, my experience with hormonal acne and um, some natural ways that I have effectively gotten rid of, I would say, 95% of it. Uh, you're still going to have, you know, flares every once in a while, um, especially if you have hormonal acne. Women that time of the month, um, unfortunately, you can't help that. There are ways to suppress it a little bit, but all in all, there are going to be times where a little something comes up. But you can dramatically, drastically change the way your face looks for good with a few of um, some solid based knowledge of why you break out and the things that you can do to fix that. So, numero uno would be to remove all sugar. Uh, you can have natural sugar. Natural sugars actually react, or your body reacts to them differently than um, fake sugars, as they call them. So, things that are in processed foods, you're not going to want to hear this, but you really need to remove all of it. No processed foods. Um, people, I think, have some kind of preconceived notion that if they just don't eat candy, they'll be okay. Um, which for some people that might be okay, but if you really are truly suffering from acne and you truly want to change the way you look on the outside, you have to change the things you're putting on the inside. Um, breads, dairy, um, I mean, all of these things that are processed that you don't think of, like even if you have whole wheat bread, it's processed. Um, you know, little bakery treats, croissants, um, I'm just trying to think of a few, potato chips, crackers, the things that people normally reach for every day when they're just wanting like a little bit of a snack, you know, or just um, even if you're having lunch and you're having processed, say ham or turkey on bread with cheese. That's all processed. And in that process, a lot of times, a ton of sugar and sodium are added to it. Sugar is your worst enemy when it comes to acne. It is a huge inflammatory food. Your body reacts to sodium and sugar by getting really inflamed and trying to attack it. And all that's going to do is inflame your sebaceous glands and just irritate the problem even further. So, uh, numero uno, remove all sugar. You can still have fruits, you can still have raw natural foods that have sugar naturally in them. But anything other than that, you gotta get rid of it. What not to put in your body, um, let's discuss number two, which would be what you want to introduce into your body to increase uh, your natural body's defenses so that you don't end up with all these toxins coming out on your skin. Um, so what you want to do is introduce a large amount of vegetables and fruits. Um, there's really not a bad vegetable or fruit, so with that said, if you have a favorite or if you favorite and you really like those, go for it, eat those. Uh, what I like to tell people is make sure at some point during the day that you're incorporating uh, something with a lot of nutrients such as leafy greens like spinach or kale. Um, romaine and any kind of, you know, loose leaf has nutrients but not nearly the vitamin packed nutrients that you're looking for when you're trying to change um, your body and your skin. So I would definitely suggest either if you like salads, make a big salad. I like salads, but I also love to put it in my smoothies. And what I do is um, in the morning, I start my day with a warm glass of water with either some fresh lime or fresh lemon in it. And what that is, is like, so you've been fasting all night while you're sleeping. So you haven't eaten or drinking 
and you get up and so your first thing you want to introduce into your body is something that's going to be cleansing and that's going to prepare your body to digest the meal that you're about to eat next. So uh, I usually do 12 to 24 ounces over like an hour period of time of um, purified, distilled, good drinking water with um, just you know, a splash of uh, fresh lemon or lime. So that's really preparing your body for the meal that you're about to give it so it can properly digest it because a lot of problems that come here on the face are directly derived from your colon and your liver. So if you're not preparing your body to digest the food you're gonna put in it, you're not doing yourself any favors. So if you're gonna make this change and you want to see results, you're going to have to prepare your body, not only your body, but your mind, because this is going to be a, a process, but it's only a positive thing. So you don't need to look at it as what you can't eat, but all of the amazing things that you're going to eat and how it's going to transform not only your body, your skin, but your mind and your soul. And it's truly going to make you a healthy, happier, spirited person and in return you also are going to get beautiful glowing skin. So, um, bad job. Number three and four kind of go together. And I'll go ahead and start with number three. Um, avoid stress. <laughs> when people first told me that, I thought they were crazy. Who would actually want to be stressed? Who is looking to be stressed? Like, of course I want to avoid stress, hello. Um, but I realized that some of the things that I was stressing about in my daily life was directly because of the actions I was taking. So, for instance, um, in the morning I'd be rushing, I couldn't find anything to wear, and I just didn't like the way we fit and I was in a hurry and so that made me frustrated and the, the kids were taking longer than they should have and then we're late and it's just like oh I'm so stressed out well I'm sure you guys all have been through that it's a pretty normal daily you know life experience for some people at least a weekly or a monthly one I'm sure and I have many stresses but that was just the first one that came to my mind and so what I thought about was okay so why am I continually reoccurringly having this problem like what why are some people not stressed they get to work and or wherever they're going and they're happy and they're just oh like life is good and I'm sitting here like still trying to like put my makeup on and figure out where I put my keys and did I bring my phone with me and you know is it off because a meeting's gonna start and I'm just kind of flustered and all over the place and I realized it's um, unfortunately self-induced and even though I don't mean to subconsciously I'm just putting it off to the last minute which I am a definite procrastinator and I've really been trying to work on that over the past few years it doesn't happen overnight trust me but um, what I found is I am unfortunately my <laughs> I'm a stressor like there's different personalities and different traits that some people are born with or some people um, have genetically I'm a worrier and I stress so I worry 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 sometimes even if it's not something that maybe is so important but unfortunately I just have that built into me so I'm trying to work with that but uh, on the better note of that what I found out is which sounds simple but when you actually implement it into your nightly, daily, morning, whatever schedule, it's truly, truly life-changing. Oh my Lord. I mean, I know it sounds simple, so when I say this, you're probably gonna go, well, duh, Kristen, I mean, anybody can figure that out. But if you incorporate even just one of these into your routine, and I do it at night, I'm a morning person, but I have so much to do in the morning, that I try to incorporate a few steps or tips or tricks to prepare myself for the next day. So I always say, prepare yourself, prep 
for success. You can't, you've got to set yourself up for success. Um, most people who fail, whether it's in business, personal, uh, relationships, any family, uh, it's because they're, they're setting themselves up for failure. So you need to set yourself up for success. And um, some of the things that I've incorporated would be to take 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes, but I take 30 minutes. Like I put my kids to bed at 8.30. They usually are like sound asleep by 9. So at 8.30, I go upstairs. I give myself like a nice 10, 15 minute hot bath. I soak in some Epsom salts and whatever my favorite essential oil is of the night, depending on how I feel. Um, and I just kind of decompress. And not only am I getting some time just quiet to kind of like just let the mind be, um, it's also going to be detoxifying your body because you're resting and the Epsom salts and the hot water are going to be drawing the toxins out of your body. So anything that you may have like been around that day, whether it's um, heavy metals in different um, containers that your food may have come in, or environmental, uh, you might have been sitting next to someone who's smoking, or um, I mean, there's so many different environmental toxins, pesticides, and you know, just medicines that you take, and even sometimes the bottles that they come in. So that that's like my favorite thing to do. I'm like, okay, it's mommy's bath time. Nobody bother me unless it's an emergency. And so that's kind of my decompressing time. So I'm not only like kind of I'm really hot, hot like you know, not like burn yourself, but just a very warm to hot bath so you're kind of sweating out and pulling out all the you know different stuff you've gotten in your body just from nature's you know all the things in the world that um, aren't so bright for you and that gives your mind time to just be calm and that alone even if you could take 10 minutes that alone would be a huge way to de-stress and get a very good long night's sleep because sleep is your friend when you're trying to heal something and when you're trying to get rid of acne and you're changing your diet you're restoring your body back to its natural state and so as it does that it's probably going to require a little more rest a little more love you're going to have to love your body and just love it enough to know it's, you know, it's, it's good. You're removing horrible things and you're rejuvenating with good things. But at the same time, you're going to have to allow your body to get plenty of rest so that it can restore and rejuvenate back to its normal state. So I don't mean to get off track with that one. But um, so anyway, so I do that. I pick out two outfits for the next day because I live in Florida and it is either extremely hot and humid or cold and windy and rainy and then it becomes extremely hot and humid. <laughs> it's uh, unfortunate, which I have another video on uh, what that does to this crazy mess. Um, I'll put a link below. That is actually kind of a funny video. People commented I didn't mean for it to be funny, but as I watch it over and over and people comment, I kind of tend to laugh now because it is kind of funny. Uh, if you don't live in this kind of climate, it can be kind of crazy. So anyway, not to get off the subject again, but um, prepare yourself for the next day. I picked two outfits out for two reasons. One, because I don't know what the weather's going to do. So I may grab the cooler outfit and then grab the sweater from the other outfit or the opposite. And then I'll grab sandals instead of my boots in case it warms up. Um, and the second reason would be because sometimes I wake up and... I'm like, oh, why did I pick that out last night? That's not comfortable. I don't want to wear that. And then I've got a backup so that I'm not scrambling looking for, you know, the shirt I was going to wear, but then I only have one bra or one whatever that goes with that. Ladies, you know what I mean. Uh, so between my bath and just picking out the outfit, and of course, I have my kids pick out their outfit too. Luckily, they don't need two outfits. They're pretty good. They're like, it's going to be hot or cold. And I'm like, no, I let them know and they're like, cool. And they go pick it out and they're done. So the third thing 
I love to do. Um, I like to take like some chamomile tea or, I mean, I love wine, but um, my favorite is Cabernet. But especially during like a hormonal cycle and if you're really breaking out, alcohol is not a good thing, well really period, um, but especially at night right before you go to sleep because you have to think about this. Your body is about to go into shutdown mode. And so what it does for the next six, eight, ten hours is fasts. I mean, you know, I mean, that's generally what it's doing. So if you're just, I mean, a glass of wine at night, I'm not saying that's wrong, but if you're truly trying to change, you know, the insides to get the product you're looking for outside, which is just a better version of you. Um, the last thing you want to do is just have something alcoholic to drink and then let your body be on cruise control for eight, however many hours you're sleeping. And it's, it's really um, trying to provide your body's nutrients and you've just dehydrated it and caused a enormal um, sleep pattern and it, it's going to make you go and have to get up during the night to go to the bathroom and you're not getting that true sleep that you need. You need, your body really truly needs to rest during this time. So even if you incorporate one of those things or all of them, or if you have something that you do that really helps you prepare yourself for the next day and set yourself up for success, uh, comment below. Or if you have any questions, comment below. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. I love learning. I like to learn something new every day, if not several things a day. And um, I think we all can learn from each other. And if you have a like, supportive group of people, whether they're friends, family, other YouTubers, you know, whatever it may be, um, I think that is a great way to build um, your confidence and to support you because you know during this time it can be frustrating you've already been through the horrible part so you, you've had the horrible skin and you felt bad about yourself and maybe people are looking at you or you think they're looking at you um, you're self-conscious you don't want to leave the house you're trying to cover up with makeup it makes it worse it's just you've been through the bad part so now find people that are going to be positive and support you through the good part um, so when I say three and four, sorry, so long-winded, when I say three and four kind of go together, three would be to avoid stress, and the fourth one is to get your vitamin D. And vitamin D, in the, the most organic, natural way your body can receive it, is through the sunshine. And most times when you're relaxing in the sunshine, you're de-stressing. So they kind of go hand in hand. Um, when the sun shines out, which the sun shines out now, and I was going to do this video outside, but um, the wind picked up incredibly. I don't know if you probably can't tell now, but it's blowing like 20 to 30 miles an hour, random gusts. And uh, I didn't want to blow the camera over or be like, oh, uh, trying to film this. So, but 20 to 30 minutes of sunlight a day. You don't have to be just laying there basking in it. You don't want to burn yourself, but you know, if you walk your dog or you play ball in the yard with the kids or you know, there's so many ways you can be outside in it. You don't have to lay there still. Like you can be active and move and be absorbing that, that vitamin D. So that is number four would be to get your vitamin D. And the most natural way to do that is the sunshine. And so if you can get a little sunshine and you stress, you've killed two birds. We are to number five. And number five is also going to do with uh, deficiencies. Not everybody is going to be deficient in all of these categories. Um, matter of fact, it would probably be in your best interest to get checked, especially for vitamin B12. If you're not vitamin B12 deficient, um, you don't need to take vitamin B12 supplements. Amazing, right? Um, simple, but some people try to self-diagnose themselves and instead of figuring out what's wrong, they're just going to go ahead and take everything and hope it all works. Well, 
if you do that and you're not efficient, then you're actually depleting your body of other things you need because it's just gonna wash it right through. So you're filling yourself up and you're still lacking whatever it is you're deficient in. So, I mean, it's a in relatively inexpensive thing to go to your regular doctor um, and just get a, a blood count. Um, check to make sure, uh, you know, hormones, insulin, blood sugar, it just everything's functioning normally. And if you're deficient in anything, then these might be some of the things you need to do. If you're not deficient in any of these, good job, awesome, and you can skip to the next step. Um, however, a lot of people with severely acne prone skin are deficient in one of these categories. And um, so that is one way to diagnose yourself um, is when you're having things happen on the outside of your body, it's generally because there's something wrong going on the inside of your body. And so that is your body's way of telling you, hey, something's wrong, you know, something needs to change. And uh, you need to listen to your body. And if, you know, you're feeling a certain way or, or different, um, you need to get yourself checked out. You can't always self-diagnose. I have tried to do that for many years. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And if you're self-diagnosing and you're actually diagnosing the wrong problem, you can really make it worse. So I don't recommend that in most cases. I mean, in little things maybe, but in your all over general health, I would go seek professional advice. And it's just a, a small, a bit of blood work. It's really not a big deal. So anyway, with that said, number five again would be uh, to make sure you're not vitamin deficient. So um, if you are feeling lethargic or more tired than normal, um, if you're having any kind of memory loss or um, in general just not having the regular motivation you would have when you get up or sometime during the day, uh, you could be deficient in B12. And most of B12 naturally comes from uh, animal products. So if you're a vegan, um, you can absolutely be deficient. However, because you're a vegan doesn't mean you automatically are. There are lots of things that you can do as a vegan um, to provide yourself with plenty of natural digestive B12. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But um, another one would be B5. And a lot of your Bs are coming from animal-based products. So if you're not eating meat, your Bs are coming from animals that eat meat. So um, the only way to counteract that, you don't have to eat meat to get them. But you need to know if you're not eating that, um, there are ways and you really should use the most natural ways because your body's going to absorb and digest, digest that the best um, would be, uh, again, sunshine and um, spirulina or uh, any kind of green superfood. Your body can only absorb so much from vegetables, so like you can eat as many carrots or leafy greens or you know whatever it is that people are like, oh, you eat that and it'll be fine. Well, yes and no. Your body can digest, I think it digests like less than 5% of what that total vegetable has in it. So um, that's really not a lot. And especially if you're trying to heal your skin, you need a lot more than that. Um, what I like to use, which <laughs> I am not sponsored or affiliated with this brand whatsoever. However, I've been using it for a couple of years now and I really love it. It's uh, you know, within its market, it's fairly reasonable and um, it gets great reviews. I am obviously one of those. So anyhow, it's called Amazing Grass and it is a green superfood. It's all organic, all natural, gluten-free, raw product. Um, this contains most of what you need if you're on any kind of raw vegan diet. I have another video about how I am kind of changing into that process. I am not fully raw or fully vegan, but um, I am making a lot of lifestyle changes, moving over towards you know, shifting that way. 
uh, just because of the amazing benefits that I've seen in my body and just um, some things I've went through, including major acne, that have vastly improved. And on that note, when I did go back through editing, I noticed that you can see still my big old scratch on my face. I do not recommend giving your cat a bath, um, especially if it's like it, it used to be a wild cat and then we kind of adopted it or adopted us. Uh, but it like walked through all this horrible, like poopy, mildewy, muddy water on the lagoon. <laughs> it stunk so bad I didn't want the cat to come in the house. So I was like, well, I'll just hold it down in like some warm water and just like rinse its feet. Yeah, he, he wasn't really feeling that. So uh, this is not acne or any other skin condition. This is truly my kitty saying, don't ever put me in the bath again. So if you notice this, it is healing. It's been a few days, um, but that is what that's from. So that's just a side note. Uh, on that note though, I have noticed on a healthier lifestyle, getting rid of all the processed foods, that I do heal quicker. So if I do have a scratch or a bug bite or, you know, a cut or something, I heal, I used to heal really slowly and I couldn't figure out why. And I just thought, well, you know, I guess that's just me and other people heal quicker and that's just how it's going to be. Um, find it, now, come to find out. It was because I was deficient in so many different vitamins and minerals that um, my body wasn't able to heal like it should be able to. And I have another video on that. I was severely allergic to just about everything growing up. And so uh, I couldn't have dairy, I couldn't have wheat, I couldn't have like, I couldn't be around grass, smoke, trees, animals, you name it, I was allergic to it. So uh, that is mainly the reason as I was growing up that I was vitamin deficient and that's just the lifestyle and food choices I knew. So that's pretty much all I ate growing up as a teenager and come to find out I was severely deficient in many things. So that's another video and I'll put the link below. But um, anyway, back on track, you definitely need to keep up as long as you're not deficient, with your vitamins. So you need to make sure you're good on your vitamin A, your vitamin D, and your vitamin B. And if you're not, again, this green superfood, I want to say last time I bought it, it was like at the $20 price point, which should give you about a month's supply for one person. And um, I'll let you can look it up online, but just a couple of the things um, besides those vitamins would be selenium, which is a big um, nutrient in fish. So if you don't eat fish or meat and you don't like it and you're not going to introduce this, another way to get it would be uh, cod liver oil. And people go, oh gross, like, oh, like, I don't want that. They do make it in a pill form <clears throat> or a gel capsule. Just make sure you get like organic virgin cod liver oil. Uh, last but not least, um, I would say would be your, um, again, another B vitamin, the B12. That is generally something that most people get from um, meat-based products. So animals that eat meat um, carry the most of those naturally. However, again, this green superfood covers all of those. It covers, um, everything you need to sustain a healthy organ, liver, colon, um, and digestive enzymes to give yourself um, a healthy diet and beautiful skin. And it's definitely gonna give you more energy and uh, it's made me a much happier person. Um, I have cut out a lot of the medications that I used to have to take by prescription. And I'm very proud to say that because that was a long time coming. And I just, um, I hope that everyone gets a better idea of how this problem um, comes about and how you can actually obtain clear skin without any medication. It comes from within. And as long as you can 
cleanse within and detoxify, it will show on the outside. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I plan on doing more videos more in depth about this subject because it seems to be my most popular subject. Uh, so please, if you enjoyed the video, click down below, subscribe, like the video, comment. If you have any questions or you have any uh, thoughts on things that you would like me to do in the future, I would be more than happy to do it. So again, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye.